Hi everybody, uh, Stephanie here with Brown Thumb Gardening. I uh, just wanted to check in today and um, say hello to everybody. So this is gonna be a little bit of a rant. Um, I guess just one, one more part of the fun of having a brown thumb and trying to keep plants alive is, um, you know, we don't have enough problems as it is just trying to keep plants alive. We have things that work against us from nature. Um, so like pests and things that like to eat our plants and um, kill them. So uh, one of the things that I'm kind of fighting is I have a, a small container garden set up for some broccoli and cauliflower. And I have been fighting with cauliflower caterpillars for the last few weeks. We've got a ton of little white cauliflower butterflies just flying around our yard all the time, all day long, um, laying eggs on the plants. And when I first transplanted the plants into the container, I was trying to pick the eggs off as I found them um, because I, I was noticing little white eggs and they were sometimes on the top of the leaves, sometimes underneath the leaves. So basically I made it a, a daily thing that I would just come out and check the plants and if I found any eggs I would just pick them off and get rid of them and I was hoping that that would take care of everything but as summer has gone on more and more butterflies have shown up it's been difficult to keep up with the number of eggs that they've been laying so I kind of stopped doing that and so uh, I did pick up some different insecticide options at my local greenhouse. Uh, I picked up some dimaceous earth. I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and then I also picked up a, uh, I guess an insecticidal soap that said it was good for um, caterpillars and things of that nature. And I've applied the soap a couple of times and I have noticed some dead caterpillars after the soap has been sprayed onto the leaves, but unfortunately, it's not getting rid of all of them. So, um, my new routine is to, every morning, come out when the plants are still cool, before the sun is up and worms are hidden. I just come out and I go through all of my plants and I just pick off the caterpillars and I smoosh them. Um, every day I pick at least a half dozen little caterpillars off the plants and it's making the plants look not very pretty. So I've got a lot of holy leaves and um, some of them have lots of droppings on them down in the cracks of the where the leaves have sprouted from the stem. So uh, I try to spray them with water and wash that kind of stuff away every couple of days. Um, and the caterpillar volume has kind of seemed to decrease a little bit in the last couple of days. So maybe it's helping that, uh, you know, picking them off and smooshing them. But just when I think I've gotten all of them, I come out the next morning and bam, there's like five more. So, and they're not little caterpillars, they're good sized caterpillars. Uh, I have a couple of pictures I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in here um, so you can kind of see. But uh, one I found this morning was probably big enough that it was gonna be transitioning into Hupa stage pretty soon. So uh, I, I just don't know about uh, the best process or the best method to keep these little critters away. Um, maybe next year I'm, I'm considering putting a net 
over uh, because they're they are hard to keep up with and uh, I haven't gotten any vegetables from my plants yet so I don't know if they're going to have any impact on the actual produce that comes out um, so we'll see what happens but I'm gonna turn the camera around I'm gonna just walk over to the plants so that you can kind of see what I'm dealing with and um, if anybody has any comments or suggestions I'm definitely um, open to those uh, so feel free to leave a comment um, and uh, if you are having the same issues as me um, you can subscribe so that you can follow along with updates and um, information that uh, I might come across over time and hopefully we can get it figured out so that we can get successful crops instead of killing everything. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll go check out these plants. Okay, so this is my container garden for my cauliflower and my broccoli. Um, on this side, I've this is the cauliflower and over here, I've got a couple of different varieties of broccoli going. And as you can see, uh, they're pretty holy. You know, like, like this one is really bad. And you know, every single one of them has been touched by these caterpillars in some way. Um, so they're, there's nothing that is immune so far. And the, the different things that I've attempted to use to get rid of these caterpillars or decrease them um, seems to be just a temporary thing at best and I still have to take quite a bit of an active role and these caterpillars they're pretty crafty um, so like here on this leaf for example you know far away you don't really notice anything but if you get right here up close there you see right there that little guy see how he blends in and they just kind of hang out right along the vein the main vein of the uh, of the leaf and they just kind of live there uh, during the day when it's hot and then they seem to move around when it's a little bit cooler um, I have found that if, if I flip the leaves over on occasion I will find some up oh, that see there's there's one right there. See that little guy? So he's hiding from the sun. Um, so, you know, every time I flip leaves over, I tend to come across more caterpillars, even though I just did a thorough examination this morning. Um, there's more of them. So they, they drive me crazy. And uh, I'm just hoping that uh, the worst damage that they're gonna do at this point is just make the leaves ugly and that they're not going to damage any of the um, produce that I'm hoping to harvest at some point. So anyways, um, thanks for joining me today and um, happy brown thumbing.